What do you do for a living? We have a small drainage company. And I am the leader of the uh, production. I'm an IT project manager. I have uh, restaurants. Being in your position, doing what you do, how much we can make per year? Around about 120,000 euros. 120,000 euros. In heavy rain, we make big money. When it's lovely and sunny, like it is here, we make little money. Today's economy, is it good investment for putting money to the real estate or property? I think it is. How do you invest your money? Invested in uh, Bitcoin, my house and in buildings. How did you decide for starting the company? I didn't want to be uh, told what to do by young men 20 years younger than me. Finding mentor is a shortcut or learning from your mistakes? No, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a mix of both. You cannot just have found one person and you learn everything from him. You have to fall and wake up again. You have to learn from mistakes you do. What is the best piece of financial advice you ever received in your entire life? Don't invest money, you have to borrow. Work hard, do the best you can at any job, whether you're sweeping the road or you're... Yo, welcome and welcome back to my channel again. Today I'm going to interview people specifically in one place because I heard that there is a poker event. I don't know what is this about, but I saw that there are a lot of people. I'm going to ask people who are attending to that event what do they do for a living, how they are investing their money, or maybe they will share with us how to start their own business because I believe there are a lot of business owners attending. So stay tuned, we are going to interview them. Don't forget, today's video sponsor is you as always and also Valex property. If you want to purchase your first apartment, house, any type of property or you want to sell, your body is here. You can contact me, I will help it out after talking with you. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. Let's go to interview them. Your name, age and where are you from? Uh, we're from uh, Surrey in England and we're both 71. Mm -hmm. And what do you do for a living? Uh, not very much now, but uh, I work work from home. We have a small drainage company. Small drainage well, company, yeah? Yeah, similar to plumbing. Okay, and uh, you working together? They're my partner. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so my so. partner, not so. Oh, yeah. so mm. And before like, that company, and what were you doing? Uh, no, I've been doing that for many years, mm -hmm. many years. And how did you decide for starting that company? I didn't want to be uh, told what to do mm -hmm. by young men 20 years younger than me. Okay, that makes sense. And then you decided to start your own company exactly. to tell someone to do it. Exactly yeah. that. Yeah, exactly that's that. Good idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good. Well, how about you? What is your background? Me, yes, sir, my husband. We're working same, on the same. We come company. same together. Really. Oh, okay. Be before that housewife oh, with children. Okay, she was a housewife, yes. and then you decided to start the company together. That's yeah. right. Uh, and what's the best part of your uh, job? Let's say that you are working together with your partner, and what's the best part of that? Well, because well, this is a good example. We're away on holiday, mm -hmm. and we can please ourselves, generally. So. So we're not, we're not restricted to 28 days holiday a year or, or working nine to five. So the flexibility is the okay. main thing. You have your own freedom. Yes, freedom. Being in your position as a business owner, how much can we make per year? Oh, it's a very season. It depends on the weather. Mm -hmm. In heavy rain, we make big money. When it's lovely and sunny, like it is here, we make little money. So uh, it's, it's, uh, it varies tremendously. Okay. And you are giving your service specifically in one country or you are in, country, uh, specifically in uh, the UK, mm -hmm. which is England and, and Wales, okay. uh, which is and a small country. That, that's good. And what is the best piece of financial advice you ever received and you can share it with us? Work hard and do what you say you're going to do. So be reliable. Uh, in what sense working hard? Anyone working mm. hard can be successful? That's, yeah. Yes, it doesn't matter what you do. Mm. Do the best you can at any job, whether you're sweeping the road or you're Prime Minister of England. Just do your best. That's all you all you can yeah. ever do. That's good. So you jump in and then you know what you do. <laughs> so how long you have been together? Uh, 20 odd years. Okay. And what is the longevity secret of your relationship? Um, mutual mm. respect, I think. Respecting all together. Mm. Or not, you trust somebody. Yeah, you care right. somebody. Right. And you stay in, but you cannot trust somebody. You cannot stay in. So yes, now you have to trust, a, trust and a love, love more important. Okay. Yeah. For people in their early age, they are thinking to start a relationship to find their love, significant love, others. You have to love, find the love, uh -huh. love inside your heart, honor, no cheating. 
If you're cheating, you cannot stay long. Okay, that's good. And best piece of personal development advice you would give to our community? Um, 10%? No, 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 I can't think of anything really. Mm. Only, only what we've said. Yeah, well. and, uh, just be consistent, work hard. Be, uh, be true to yourself and, and your friends and family. Yeah, right. that's good. And at the end, if you have a chance going back to your 20s, what advice you would give to yourself? No, we don't want Travel the world more no. for personally, mm -hmm. not not pubs and clubs. Save right. money. Which is what I did in my 20s. Okay. <laughs> Save money. Yeah. Look after yourself. When you get merely set in doubt, I don't, you start, start new life. Yeah. That's right. how you can do life. Enjoy the life. Life too short. We tended to enjoy life later in life, from 50, 50 plus. Right. Um, we, yeah, we're, okay. we're 71, okay. so we're happy we are here, darling. Right. Thank you very much Thank for you. talking Thank to us. Uh, it was good to yeah, talk to you. Yeah. Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Alan, I'm 40, and I'm from Denmark. What do you do for a living? I'm an IT project manager. Okay. For how long? 10 years, yeah. And being in your position, doing what you do, how much can we make per year? Oh, I have to count it in euros. That's probably uh, 120,000 euros. Okay, you are in a six-figure range. Yeah, but just barely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Barely. But how do you invest your money? Oh, I invest them in pension and in uh, and in uh, uh, my house and in buildings. I don't invest so much in uh, finance anymore because uh, mm -hmm. or stocks since the last time it went bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you are investing for real assets, like real estate, yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So how many units you are owning at the moment? No, I own only part through funds. And mm -hmm. I'll say maybe uh, for uh, 50,000 euro, not mm -hmm. that much. Oh, that's great. And in this time, today's economy, is it good investment for putting money to the real estate or property? I think it is. Mm -hmm. I think uh, property has shown resilience through uh, a lot of crashes. Uh, Maybe it goes down, but it will come quickly back up again. Mm -hmm. And is it your long-term plan? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. And do you want to also scale up and put uh, a lot of like more and more on if that? If I can, yeah, yeah. I have uh, small kids, so mm -hmm. I cannot do it right now. But if I can, yeah. And what's your educational background? It's an IT programmer. Mm -hmm. And then I transitioned into management. Uh, people in their early age, they want to start in that industry to make six-figure range as well. Like, yeah. is it possible for them, like, uh, the first three, four years, they can make it? Make six figures? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think so. So no. you have to work a lot? Yeah, I'd say you have to be a senior after at least five years mm -hmm. on your back. Yeah. Is it worth it for working five, ten years to make six-figure? Or you can invest on yourself to start your own business or to get a mentorship so that you can do by your own way. I know many that have started own businesses and many it's went really well. So, mm -hmm. I, you know, some does not go well, some goes well. I will not say uh, don't do it. Uh, I think many people succeed. What's the best piece of financial advice you ever received in your entire life? Uh, don't invest money you have to borrow. You know, Only sense. invest money you have, yeah. Okay, so you mean that you cannot get money from a bank to invest? Yeah. I, I wouldn't do it, but I know you can get a high uh, interest and you pay back. But uh, I'm conservative in that way. I only invest money I have. Uh, there are a lot of options also. They are saying that the debt, good debt, you can make it and you can invest and you can borrow money from a bank as long as you are young. And what's yeah. your perspective about it? Well, I just don't have the... Uh, I, I'm too scared to do it myself. Mm -hmm. I'm sure someone is making money on it, but uh, it's too risky for me. Right. I got it. For how long you are in Malta? Uh, two more days. Two more days? Two more days, yeah, yeah. And just for holiday? Yeah, just for holiday, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. No Hello, your name, age, and where are you from? My name is Gregor Lichtov, aus Germany, Berlin. What do you do for a living? Uh, I work in a, a, a company we uh, make uh, parts of metal, and I am the leader of the uh, production. For how long you are in the industry? 25 years. Yeah, is it worth for working in a company for more than 20 years of your time? Yes, of course. Yeah, it's a very nice job. Being in your position, doing what you do, how much we can make per year? Around about 120,000 euros. You are also six-figure range? Yes. Okay. How do you invest your money? Uh, I have many cryptos invested in uh, Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. and I hope it will go up to 100,000. Right. When did you invest it? I started uh, eight years ago. But it was like a bullishing time or? 
Yes, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> but the, your investment mainly is in Bitcoin. Oh yeah, I have all uh, my uh, uh, other investors. I have uh, give up mm -hmm. and put it uh, in the Bitcoin. Why did you decide for investing your money on a Bitcoin? Uh, no, I see a very good chance uh, 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 to make uh, in the next uh, two, two years around about mm -hmm. 80 percent of percent. And uh, for people in their early 20s, they want to have their financial freedom. What advice you would give to them? I have my son. My son is 20 years old, and he is starting investing. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, 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 two years ago, and uh, I hope he'll uh, be have enough money if he gonna old. He, he learned from you investing. Yes, a little bit. No, he's also. He's, he's, uh, he's uh, uh, looking by itself. He's also investing in a Bitcoin, like you? Uh, no, he is more brighter. Which generation is better on investing, Gen Z or your invest, uh, your like generation? The young generation. Well, the, when, when they start with uh, 18 or 20 years, they have long, 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 long time to make uh, 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 good mm -hmm. money. Yes. And you see that these days, the younger generation doing better on investment rather than your generation? Yes, of course. I, um, I have. Uh, learned it too late. Yes, I am yet uh, 51 years old, and uh, I had to start. Oh, only in my 20s. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, I am mean, was a little bit late. Thank you very much. Enjoy your time. It was good to talk to you. you. Your name, age, uh, and where are you from? Malta. <laughs> from Malta. Okay. What do you do for a living? I have uh, restaurants. So, for how long you are a restaurant owner? Four years. So how did you decide for starting that business? Um, I always, when I was young, I was worked in, in catering. Actually, I worked here at the at the Hilton, and I always wanted to to have my own business. Mm -hmm. But before that, what you were doing, working for some restaurants, then you decided to start your own. Of course, yes, yes. I, I worked in quite uh, different restaurants and hotels, and uh, then I aspired to have my own uh, business. What did you learn while working for other restaurants? Then you are replicated to your own business. Okay, a lot of things uh, from um, leadership skills that I have my own, my mentors and people that uh, you take from them. You learn how to treat your colleagues, um, how to do certain uh, certain things as well. Mm -hmm. And you said that you had a mentor. What did you learn from your mentor? Why you, did you ask any mentorship from the person? Why you needed a mentor? Um, uh, because a mentor or a leader helps you in, in, in skills that you don't have. For mm -hmm. example, uh, certain skills which I needed to have. Mm -hmm. Okay, I I looked at them for for these for these qualities. So some people want to learn while working and yes. then learning from the mistakes. But some people also thinking that finding a mentor is a shortcut. What's your perspective? Finding mentor is a shortcut or learning from your mistakes? No, no, it's a, it's a, it's a mix of both. You cannot just have found one person and you learn everything from him. You have to fall and wake up again you have to learn from mistakes you do it's 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 normal that we we all do mistakes even leaders do mistakes but it's how to react to these mistakes are you comfortable sharing with us being in your position as a business owner how much you are making per year <laughs> it's a bit confidential <laughs> you can give us a range uh, I'd rather not to okay no problem but how do you invest your money okay um, of course the, in Malta, especially, the, this market is quite cutthroat. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have my restaurants in Valletta, which in Valletta only there's a lot of, um, a lot of competition. So you have to be innovative. You have to keep always investing in the place, in the stuff, in the food. Um, you cannot just uh, keep your money just for yourself. You have to, of course, to, to be able to know how to, to generate and to innovate all the time. Mm -hmm. And beside your business, do you have any other investments? No. No. Whatever you make, putting everything back to the business? Yes, mostly, of course, because, um, as I said, they believe if you just, if you don't be innovative, um, the competition will, will eat you out. Mm -hmm. And people, if they want to start a restaurant business, yes. and from the scratch, let's say they are younger people in my community also, there are a lot of Gen Z, want to start their own restaurant, what advice you would give to them, how they can do it, what to avoid, what to do, what not to do? Of course, to always keep your feet on the ground, mm -hmm. okay? Um, to learn exactly, it's, uh, this business is, you have to respect from the, from the, for all, all the operations, all the stuff, the stuff is the most challenging part, okay? Because it's people, it's emotions, um, so it's about uh, keeping them motivated. It's about, um, at the end of the day, if they are motivated, they will give you results. The customers are happy. So I think that's the most challenging part of the business, okay? 
you can do your workings, you can think about ideas, you can think about the menu, but the stuff is always the most challenging part of the business. Okay. How do you stand out the business? Because there are a lot of restaurants, there are a lot of restaurant owners, and how you are standing out, and what is your strategy? Um, as I said, you try to be innovative as well um, in the things, because, for example, any type of coffee, any type mm -hmm. of pizza there are, any type of food there are many there are many competitions so it's being innovative and of course giving a good service i believe in, in customer care and giving a good service okay. at the moment how many restaurants you have two well, nice and people in our community they want to have a mentor like you they want to start a restaurant business are you comfortable for sharing your knowledge with them i always uh, appreciate it when people taught me mm -hmm. okay so i see no no issue in, in in sharing whatever they can take from myself okay and at the end what's the best piece of financial and self-development lesson you ever learned in your entire career uh, so it's very important to make your workings well in the beginning if you see all all the money coming in and you don't you don't plan there's taxes there's wages there's uh, churn there's loss there's this mm -hmm. it's very important to 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 always think about these things thank you very much we appreciate it good luck on your business you. yo that's it basically i'm definitely sure you enjoyed with this episode you saw how many great people we found we received a lot of advice from them now it is application time you have to apply to our real time whatever you are filtering it out as always today's video sponsor is you and Valex property if you are thinking to purchase your property or you want to sell it out i can help you for wiping it out. Don't forget, hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.